As a Bankline administrator, you can control who's set up on Bankline and what they can do. Managing your users effectively will help keep your profile secure. In this video, we'll show you how. We use roles and privileges to set what each user can do. A privilege is the ability to perform a specific task within Bankline, for example, view balance or view transactions. These privileges are organized into roles like account operator, which are then assigned to a user to determine what they can do in Bankline. Before you set up a user, you'll need to decide what you'd want them to do and then assign them the appropriate roles. We have several preset roles that you can assign to users, covering the most common Bankline tasks. We call these master roles. A user with a master role can do all the tasks the role allows on all of your Bankline accounts. Here are some of the key ones. Administrator. Give this role to someone if you want to create an additional administrator. Account operator. This gives users the ability to register new accounts and view statements and balances. Key all payments. This role lets a user key, import, and edit all types of payments. Authorize all payments. This one lets a user authorize and check payments of other users, but it doesn't let them authorize their own payments. Account servicing. This role lets a user stop checks, order books, change addresses, open and close accounts, and order certificates of balance or interest. If none of these are quite what you need, you can customize your own role. We call these customer roles. Here's how to create one. From the Manage Roles page under Admin, click Create Role at the bottom of the page. Give the role a name and description. You can now tick the privileges you want to assign. These are arranged in different categories. To change category, click the drop-down, choose an option, for example Payments, and click Save and Go. Carry on selecting the privileges you want for this role and once you're done, click Continue. Next, select the accounts you want to assign to the role and click Continue. Finally, click Confirm New Role. If your organization uses Dual Admin, a second administrator may need to approve this. Once the role is ready for users, you can assign it to existing users on your profile or to new users you create. From the Admin menu, click Manage Users, then Create User. Add in the user's information and include a payment authorization limit if you want to. Once you've done that, click Continue. Now you can select the roles you'd like to assign to the user. Any new roles you've created will appear on this list. Once you've selected, click Continue. Select the address you'd like us to send the user's smart card to. Review the details, and once you're happy, click Confirm New User. Depending on the roles you've assigned, you may now need to approve this with your smart card. You can head over to Smart Card Authorization in the Admin menu to do this. If your organization uses Dual Admin, you may need a second administrator to approve this. Once that's been approved, you should receive your smart card and reader to the address selected within five working days. We'll send the PIN directly to the new user. Managing your Bankline users is an important part of staying safe online. Here are three handy tips to help. Run a user audit to review who's on your profile and what they can do. You can download a Manage Users report to help with this. Avoid using Authorize Own Payment privileges. Keep inputters and approvers separate where possible as this ensures transactions are always reviewed before being sent. Have an additional administrator on hand for when your profile needs updating. You can find out more and get support on using Bankline by visiting us here.